It's Design Fair season in Europe, which is why we brought you to the home of the Living Kitchen Exhibition in Cologne. Journey with us for the next few weeks as we take you through the latest kitchen and interior design inspirations here in Germany. The Living Kitchen Exhibition forms part of IMM Cologne, an international design fair attracting thousands of visitors each year. With Germany's best kitchen designs on show, it's clear that the kitchen is no longer being designed in isolation. Kitchen designs are taking their cues from the rest of the open plan area, including the dining area, the lounge and even the library. Without the separation of spaces, the kitchen has become a multi-purpose space, better suited to serving our modern lifestyles. I just loved what I, what I saw um, as a quote on one of the designers. We design for people and the environment in which they live. Innovation is for life, and I think that's lovely. That innovation in design is for the life of the people who live there, instead of just being because you need to have it. It's so intentional, it's so specific, it's so individual. Um, I think it just adds an element of longevity to the design of the kitchen, and it brings in just this beautiful, warm humanity into the design of the kitchen that sometimes we've lacked in the past. We caught up with designer Todd Brecher to explore his ideas on new ways of designing our homes. Todd's brief, to design an interior to suit the modern American lifestyle. Life in New York is quite complicated, it's quite fast, it's uh, as most cities are, and I was questioning, do I live, is my home built for my life? And I don't think it really is. I don't, I don't think many people live actually how they want to live. So, so the exploration we've done with Toss House was to reevaluate and go back to the essentials of what life is and in home. If you take a, for example, you buy a home that's 20 years old, 50 years old, uh, even 10 years old, five, it typically comes with the standard typologies of a kitchen, a bathroom, a bedroom, and so on and so on. And that defines how we live, which to me it's a, a dated logic. And uh, so what we're doing is going back to, well, what do I really need? And I think in New York, I need peace, I need quiet, I need calm, but I also want education and I need sustenance and food and so when you start balancing these things that brought us to our concept of Das House this year. The materiality of this house is also connected to the concept of essential. We wanted to work with material that was monolithic but natural and warm and engaging, the material you wanted to touch and uh, the, thus the the wood all around us, this Douglas fir, is very, very rich and very noble and uh, expansive. And then at the same time, with the sleek concrete Caesar stone, we wanted one material that felt uh, solid and in contrast as well to, to the warm, softer wood. We wanted something that felt solid and sturdy. And, uh, and considering all the functionality we planned for the surface, uh, from eating to telling stories to playing to building, uh, whatever happens here, we needed the surface that can be strong enough to support that. Most South Africans, including Europeans, live in apartment living. And I think that blurred line between a lounge and a kitchen has come quite strongly here. So you have a work surface that often closes up and becomes a lounge area, it becomes a library, it becomes an eating area, it becomes an entertaining area. And we as South Africans need to, I think, treat kitchens very differently. And it's not a kitchen, it's about, this is my living space, and how do I live within my space? Part of it has to cook, part of it has to read, part of it has to entertain. And if you can bring all that together, I think it's a perfect harmony. After an incredible day of inspiring design, it's easy to see why Germany is on top. So join us again next week as we take a closer look at some of the world's best kitchens.